what's up everybody? Just gonna do more of an in-depth video on one of the items that I received at Comic-Con this year. This, these items would be the 7-inch uh, vinyls from Mondo. Uh, this is gonna be from one of my favorite soundtracks of a couple years back, uh, of Inside Out. Oh My Disney is the blog that kind of released the news that they were gonna be, Mondo was gonna be releasing these particular vinyls for Comic-Con. Since I was gonna attend Comic-Con, I had to put this one on my list as my go-to product that I needed to get. This is gonna be the vinyl set. We have Fear right over here. This is a purple vinyl limited to 1,500 copies. Side one is gonna be Bundle of Joy. Side two is gonna be The Forgotters. This is gonna be the back side of it. Everything's pretty much gonna have Bundle of Joy as uh, side A, by the way. Um, this is uh, Anger. Anger is going to be a red vinyl and he's going to be limited to 1500 copies. Uh, this one's going to have Bundle of Joy, like I said, and side B would be Chasing Down Sadness. Uh, this is going to be Disgust. She's going to be a green vinyl. This one's limited to 1500 copies. Uh, side B is going to be No Man is One Island and National Movers. And if you didn't already see, this is actually the cover from Holes Live Through This. This is going to be Joy. She's going to be a yellow vinyl, and this is going to be limited to uh, 2,500 copies. This one's going to be off of the Isaac Hayes Joy uh, album cover, and her side B would be Abstract Thought. This is going to be Sadness. Uh, she's going to be a blue vinyl. This is going to be limited to 2,500 copies, and they base this one off of Joni Mitchell's blue. And this is going to be Riley's vinyl, which is actually half yellow, half blue. Uh, this is going to be based off of the Siamese Dream from Smashing Pumpkins. This one's going to be limited to only 500 copies. I got these vinyls on day one of Comic-Con. I got this one like at night. Each one of these ones were $15 a piece, so it all in all came out about to $90, $95 if I'm not mistaken. I kind of already knew that Michael Giacchino was going to be at Comic-Con because the day before we actually were at the Star Trek world premiere and he was there of course when he had the uh, orchestra playing the Star Trek Beyond soundtrack. I decided to send him a tweet just to like give it a shot to see if he would actually respond back to it. And all I asked him was if he was going to be at the con for the rest of the weekend. He didn't respond back exactly, he just liked my comment. Went ahead and asked him if he would be able to sign my Inside Out vinyl. And he pretty much responded back saying, are you at Comic Con? And from there things started rolling. <laughs> and uh, one of the cool things was is that he just said, let's connect tomorrow at some point. And that kind of made my day for the, the next day. I went to Target, I had to go buy some uh, nice Sharpies for the vinyls and stuff. And while I was in the con, I get this DM from Michael Giacchino, which is crazy already. He just asked me if I was at the convention, and we just so happened to be kind of close to each other already. He just gave me an artist number to go to, and we met up at this art booth. Kind of in, in the middle so nobody could actually see us like meet or anything like that. We have a pen, I'm sure. Yeah. It must be, it must be so it's, no, it's not good. Have you seen these guys? Oh yeah, yeah. Actually I was over there today and they gave me a snack of them really awesome. I can take the plastic from you guys. I had 
we go to Target? <laughs> I was like, yeah. I had to go with That's He was very kind enough to spend a couple minutes, talk about the music, talk about the convention, and yeah, he signed my vinyls, he was awesome. Uh, he signed, of course, my Riley one. He signed Joy. And one of the cool ones was this one right over here. This was my favorite one just because I have the Joni Mitchell vinyl itself. And just the way that it's themed out, Joni Mitchell blue to, of course, Sadness is blue. Um, it says, for Paul, don't be too blue, Michael Giacchino. There's like no words really. Like one of my favorite composers of all time and one of my favorite movies on vinyl and he signs this particular one. Honestly, made my con and that was just like day two. After, after, the, after that meeting, there was there was nothing that I could really do to like beat that really. So uh -huh. I have to send a big shout out to Michael Giacchino for taking the time to answer a random fan to uh, sign some vinyls for him. Gotta thank him so much for his music and spending the time for for this little signing that just happened in the middle of Comic Con inside the con, which was nuts. So this is gonna be always in my collection, especially since of course this is gonna be signed by Michael Giacchino himself. It's a great memory that I'll always have. It's a yellow memory ball. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will peace out. All right guys, peace.